Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Wanted to do an unboxing of this new camera. Now this is the Panasonic HC is in Charlie, hyphen V is in Victor, 100, M is in Mary. Uh, now as you can see here, this is a, uh, it's got 16 gigabytes of memory built into the camera. It's an AVC HD. Uh, it, uh, let's see, 42X intelligent zoom full full pline HD 1920 by 1080 resolution power OIS SOI Poussant <laughs> and then IA it's got a USB 2.0 which is fast, but not as fast as the current standard, which just came out, USB 3.0. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, let's unbox this puppy. Got some bubble wrap here. Got a really nice, uh, almost looks like a you know, one of those uh, cloths that you would get, like a face scrub cloth. Looks like that, got some bubble wrap. Uh, the form factor of this camera, I can say I'm very uh, immediately impressed. Now, I have big hands, but I mean, this thing fits comfortably. A huge ergonomic upgrade from the uh, inexpensive DXG HD camcorder that I've been using for the past few years. Nice size screen there. Uh, as you can see here, you've got uh, you've got a USB connection port, HDMI, AV multi, and then the battery here. You got a power on and off button. Uh, on the display itself, you've got menu, up, down, left, right arrows, an enter button. Uh, right here on the camera, it does say Dolby Digital Stereo Creator. The top of the camera, you got your zoom in, your zoom out. You got a still photo taken button. And then over here, and this side kind of almost looks like a carbon fiber type. I mean, I know it's not carbon fiber, but it kind of looks like it. You've got a uh, DCN 5.0 volt port right there, and it covers back up conveniently with this little cover. And uh, curiously enough, the. Uh, <laughs> out of the box, the lens cover was not closed. Uh, maybe they did that intentionally, maybe they uh, had customers buy this, tried to film, and forgot to open the lens cover. But just a really nice looking lens there, and you can see it says uh, optical zoom, and it says F equals 2.38, approximately 81.0 millimeters, 1, dot, 1 colon 1.8. On the top here it says 42x eye zoom, 32.5 millimeter wide, power OIS. Panasonic full HD 1920 by 1080. And again, the model number HC V100M. Intelligent zoom 42x, 32.5 millimeters wide, power OIS. And you've got your AVC HD built-in memory 16 gigabytes of SDXC. Uh, which that brings up an interesting port uh, point. Looking at the bottom, you've got your mount for a uh, standard tripod. As you can see there, it screws in and it's got the little, a lot of tripods have that little retainer piece of plastic that'll snap in there. Uh, now this right here is nice, uh, very convenient location for your SD card. And uh, you can read the product descriptions, but it'll support uh, SD cards, SDHC, as well as SDXC. So that's that's the camera there. Now let's pop open the rest of this of this package's contents. You've got your uh, your little power brick here. Got your owner's manual and return, fill out and return 
So I need to register this thing so I get whatever warranty. A little piece of cardboard. Got your uh, USB cable. You got your standard, uh, let's see, it looks like that's the camera end right there. Let's pop it open and see. So yeah, you got, uh, it looks like component, those uh, blue and green. And then you got your audio and your, and then this part right here goes into the camera, which I probably won't even use this cable. Got your CD, HD writer, LE 1.1. And I think if I remember correctly from the product description, and it doesn't say on here, but I think this may be Windows only software. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this baby right into Final Cut Pro 10. Um, this right here is the power cable uh, that attaches to the uh, to the power brick, and I may be using incorrect terminology calling it that. But hey, I'm nerdy, but I don't know if I'm nerdy enough to get all my terminology right. So see, this just sticks in here. Uh, curiously enough, and then there's one final item here, and just to prove I unbox it all, there's nothing left. Uh, this is the battery. Not to say this is a con, uh, but it is kind of interesting. Let's see, we're going to install the battery. Let's see, and as always with electronics, you don't want to force anything. So, um, Oh, see, it's got this little clip right here you push down. It'll let you slide your battery in. Hold on one second. I See, I don't read instructions because I'm too awesome. Well, I guess I am. I don't know. But, uh, see, I need to get this. Okay, so it kind of goes in. It kind of, it doesn't slide all the way from the bottom. See, let me re-demonstrate that. So I was trying to slide it all the way in. It doesn't do that. You put the front in. And then you let that snap. Now it's retained. What they could have done, and I'm not saying this is a problem, but they could have made the battery chargeable by itself. I know even on my lower end DXG camera that I had a uh, had an external charger. So like on the DXG, the brick had a slot you put your battery in. With this to charge it. I'm actually going to have to have the battery in the camera and do that. Not that it's a problem. If I purchase extra batteries, uh, when I charge them, I'll just need to make sure to put them in the, uh, in the camera to charge. And maybe Panasonic, and I'm sure they likely do, or maybe another vendor, uh, cre uh, created a, an external battery charger that can charge a battery uh, independent of the camera. And I'll, I'll look into that. Um, this is just the unboxing video. Oh, and there's the microphone right there. But I mean, all in all, out of the box, I'm super impressed. Most impressed by the form factor of this. I mean, this is small. Uh, check out my future videos. I'm going to do a lot of video tests, and we're going to see what this camera can do. And as always, feel free to subscribe. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.